Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Glowstick, and today we are going to be checking out the number one player out of Arkansas. He is a six foot one cornerback. He is committed to go play for Texas A&M, and uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. So here we go. His name is Drayden Norwood. He is a senior this year, so this is his junior highlights uh, right here. He is going to be the corner on the top of the screen. That's about 12 yards off the ball. And he, uh, ooh, nice little interception right there as he makes a diving catch. Great play. Uh, he also plays wide receiver, and it looks like a little bit of quarterback as it was a little QB, QB sneak. And he is going to be taking that one to the crib. Nice way to start out the highlights. A little bit of a mix of, of both sides of the ball here. So I guess he did play some quarterback his junior year. He is listed this year as a wide receiver cornerback specialist. But uh, looks like he was a baller at quarterback as well. If there is somebody you want me to check out, make sure to drop their names below. Great play design right there. A little double handoff throw right back to the quarterback. Almost like a little Philly special. Uh, I know some of y'all know that play from the Super Bowl with Philadelphia beat the New England Patriots. I'm sure some of y'all like that, some of y'all didn't, but uh, what a great throw on this play. Let me know what you think of this guy, if you think he's going to be the next lockdown cornerback, if you think he's going to be that Jalen Ramsey in the future. Um, I know a lot of these plays are on the offensive side, but I mean obviously if he gets the ball in his hands, he's going to be kind of like a Patrick Peterson kind of player. Uh, very mobile, can do a lot of things when he does get the ball, and I'm sure he has a nice pair of hands if he also plays wide receiver, which is a great sign for a coverage line or a coverage cornerback right there. <clears throat> okay, I think this is going to be a defensive highlight right here. Ooh, way to keep with the receiver. I know uh, a lot of times when it everything breaks down, cornerbacks don't stick with the receiver. Way to stick with them and get that diving interception right there. So far, this guy has been an absolute monster. A little jump ball right here and a great defensive play. It looks like he's going to get some pretty good competition as well. And these stadiums are pretty good size, so I am assuming he plays for a very large school. If you know what school he plays for, drop that below. I think it says north side right there and uh, ooh, a little sidestep and the walks into the end zone great play right there this guy is an absolute monster um, I, had, I didn't do any research to see if he won state or anything like that but this is the kind of player that you could definitely build around a team around I mean he is the number one player in Arkansas for a reason I am very surprised that he is the number one recruit out of Arkansas for the defensive side, but most of his highlights are him playing quarterback. I wonder if they'll throw him in, maybe playing a little bit of quarterback at the college level as well as he makes a touchdown right there. Great run, but you can't teach height, and he is a six foot, ooh, can't teach heart either. What a, a lot of heart on that play, but he is a six foot one cornerback. And if I was reading right, he's about 190. So he does have that NFL uh, size, let alone college size, at the cornerback position right there. I mean, there was nobody in sight with that receiver that last play. And he breaks the tackle, walks into the end zone. Great play right there. He is uh, in the shotgun formation. Guy goes in motion, fakes the handoff, and a little dump-off pass. That was just like uh, something you would see from... Mahomes or any of the NFL level quarterbacks right there. Those little dump off passes are so hard to guard. Every time I see one of those, I vision Don Terry Poe when he jumped over the line at like 330 or 340 pounds and threw that touchdown pass. Uh, I know I mentioned that in one of my previous videos, but every single time I see little jump passes, that's what I think of. Right there, he is uh, taking it to the outside. I love how he can change his speed. Just, uh, just on the, the flick of the switch. I mean, he uh, it almost looks like he's jogging out here, and then when he needs to, he can put on the afterburner. It's like right there, he hits the outside, and he's just a whole nother level as far as speed goes compared to the, uh, the other team. If I read right, he ran runs to about a 4.46.40, which, you know, is very solid time. It's not elite time, but it is a solid time 
for a cornerback at his size. Um, I'm sure with the college coaches, he's going to improve that. He might be able to get down to a low 4-4 there. And he's going to have a lot of scouts checking this man out. Right there, great play. And I, I'm excited to see him at Texas A&M. I, I want to see when he does get an interception, if he can take it back to the crib. Because he definitely has a lot of playmaking ability uh, once he gets the ball. I mean, he is just making people look absolutely silly out here at the quarterback position. Once again, uh, it looks down the field. Does he have an arm on him too? Right on the money. Great throw. Great completion. So he does have an arm on him as well. He's not just a freak of an athlete right there. Ah, if he had led him a little bit, he might have scored a touchdown. Nonetheless, great throw. And that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Comment who you think I should check out next below. And uh, subscribe if you're new. I know a lot of y'all are not subscribers. It just means the world and along with motivates me a little bit. If you just hit the subscribe button, it only takes about two seconds of your day. But uh, yeah, thank y'all for tuning in and God bless.